think there's nothing in Cebu. Like the Philippines were part of Spain and then mm -hmm. from uh, US. Yeah. I broke my hand. Oh, I actually, I wasn't supposed to be here. I was friendly people for sure. Food. I don't yeah. speak English. Yeah, they treat me really well. Did you experience any culture shock when you came here? Uh, oh, that's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and in this video we're going to go ahead on the streets of Cebu City, ask some foreigners, some tourists, some expats exactly what they felt when they first got here, if they had any culture shock. Now stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to tell you guys my personal culture shock when I first came to the Philippines years ago. But before we do that guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, let's get out there and talk to some people. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Lothar. And where are you from? From the Netherlands. Uh, what brings you down here to the Philippines? I've been in Nepal last month and there's no sea and no open white space anyway, so I was like, let's go to the sea. Is this your first time here to the Philippines? Yeah, it is. Did you experience any culture shock when you came here? Um, I think the inequality was pretty much there. Like, you see the shopping malls and then you drive with taxi and you see slums-ish kind of neighborhoods. <laughs> So that was not like a culture shock because I think if you've been in Asia already, you're not that shocked from all those regular traffic things and stuff. Yeah. But uh, inequality is a thing. Yeah, you see that. So how long have you been here so far? Oh, one night. Oh, one night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, what are your plans specifically? Do you intend to visit any locations around here? Yes, I'm going to Shargao uh, this afternoon. I think there's nothing in Cebu. Mm -hmm. Have you traveled down south? You should try like Oslo, Malbo, Bantayan. There's a lot of places around here. Yeah, I know, but my plan is just to go to Shragao. Shragao, okay. <laughs> Any specific reason? Are you meeting friends there or did you I wanted somewhere? to surf, okay. um, but I broke my hand. Oh up, no, so what happened? Yeah, I fell down. Goodness. So I can't really surf, but there's a friend of mine as well, so mm -hmm. I will see from there. No did that, plans. No did specific. that happen in the Philippines, your hand? No, Nepal. Okay, okay. How was the service in Nepal when it came to your hand? Did they treat you well? Or... Yeah, they treat me really well, actually. I was surprised because this street was full of dirt. Like, it's in the middle of uh, Tamil, that's a backpacker's mm -hmm. neighborhood, and it's full of dirt. Like, you yeah. can't imagine how much smog and was in the middle of the night, like people smoking weed. And then you enter the hospital, it was super quiet and <laughs> really clean. Yeah, really happy with that, actually. Nice. Have you had a chance to interact with any local Filipinos? Um, not yet, no. Okay. How long do you plan to stay? Three weeks. Great. Well, enjoy your trip and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Konrad. And where are you from? I'm from Poland. What brings you down here to the Philippines? Uh, I'm currently traveling. Mm -hmm. And I decided to come to see how Philippines looks like. Is this your first time in the Philippines? Yeah, that's my first time. How long have you been here? Uh, for two weeks. Yeah, for two weeks. Okay, and have you experienced any culture shock? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I didn't. Have you been to any other countries in Southeast Asia? Yeah, many. <laughs> I've been to Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Yeah. <laughs> uh, Singapore. Uh, I'll be going to Indonesia soon. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't remember all yeah, this. many countries. Yeah, yeah, okay. Got it. And what do you like the most so far here in the Philippines? Uh, especially the food weather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, friendly people, for sure. Food. Mm -hmm. uh, and, for example, in Palawan, the clear water lake and the, the views. For That's sure. what I love. Do you have any other plans to visit different places here in the Philippines before going to Indonesia? Uh, I don't think so. I'm I'm gonna stay here in Cebu. Just I'm just gonna chill, like chill out yeah, yeah, before going to Indonesia. Have you met any local Filipino people? Do you talk to them? Have a beer with them? Anything? Uh, I've met one guy. Mm -hmm. I went for a beer with him. Um, he was so cool. And actually, uh, my colleague is from the Philippines so okay. he told me about about it like a lot so, yeah. okay got it is this a place you could see yourself living for a long time maybe uh no I don't think so okay no, why no. not <laughs> um I love hot weather but sometimes it's just too hot yeah like right now right I'm just yeah so um <laughs> I, I didn't even know just the weather itself alone to make you uncomfortable right so yeah yeah but it's like Philippines is nice to visit, but I don't think I would live in here. I, I just don't know. Not yet. Yeah. Maybe you need more experience or something yeah, right, to find yeah. out. 
All right, man. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? My name is Marcos. And we'll get your name at least. Celeste. Very good. Where are you guys from? We're from Argentina. Oh, I'm a big Far Messi away. fan, you know, for sure. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, what brings you down here to the Philippines? Uh, just traveling. Mm -hmm. Just going uh, island hopping, holidays. Yeah. Really cool places. Very nice. Love How it. long have you been here? We've been here for at least uh, 10 days, a bit more. Okay. And where's your favorite place so far? Uh, oh, that's a good <laughs> question. I think, yeah, the trip from El Nido to Coron. Okay. Uh, a three day trip. It was mm -hmm. awesome. Sounds very beautiful. Good. I've been there. It's a very nice place. And tell me, how long do you plan to stay? Uh, at so least how... 10 more days or okay. 12 more days. Yeah. Is this your first time to the Philippines? First time in the Philippines. Okay, right. I'm curious, what were some of your culture shock? Did you have any culture shock? Something different from Argentina? Uh, yeah, it is different, <laughs> but it wasn't that bad. It was like, I think uh, like the Philippines were part of Spain and mm -hmm. then from uh, US. Yeah. It's a bit like uh, like America. Okay. Uh, like Spanish and English. I agree, so you're familiar with it at least, so yeah. nothing too big. Right. And are you living in Argentina now? We are living in Spain. Okay, so because I know right now Argentina, they say the economical situation isn't that good. And I was considering going there, so I thought maybe I'll ask you some questions. Well, it's uh, going to be cheap for you, probably. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's know. a really good place to, to, okay. to go around and travel. We have uh, beautiful places. And yeah, economical situation is not really good right now, but we have good people, so awesome. I encourage you to go. Great, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Great, thanks thank you. a lot. And yeah, last, lastly, what's your biggest culture shock coming to the Philippines? Uh, you know, I've, I was in Vietnam and mm. I saw the garbage and the stuff on the street that everybody, you know, would see mm. here. I don't think I found a culture shock. Yeah. It's just, you know, you just learn to, this is a third world country, and you learn that you accept certain things that it, instead of trying to make everybody, you know, change to your way of life and, and your style, and, you know, don't get in a hurry. Yeah. It's the Philippines. You're on. Re you're retired. You know. You're here on vacation. Take your time, cause you're not gonna go through the line like zip. Yeah. You know. You're gonna be a while. So just don't get in a hurry. Just take your time and relax. You can have a wonderful time here if you just relax. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? Hello. My name is John. And where are you from? I'm from Belgium. And what brings you down here to the Philippines? Uh. I came, I actually I wasn't supposed to be here, I was supposed to be in Indonesia, but they refused me to done it, so I just came here. What? They refused you in Indonesia? Yeah, because I asked for people that are vaccinated, so... Oh, I see, so you, you had to have vaccine to come in here, or at least Indonesia, okay. Yeah. I understand. How long have you been here? Uh, less than, than a week, yeah. Okay, what are your first impressions of the Philippines? Oh, it's pretty nice, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you like it? You have a good time, at least. Yes, yes, but the the best will come, I guess, because I will just get in the place where I can do snorkeling and all. I just spend time in the cities, and they are huge, and I am not too much a city guy, so. Okay. Have you experienced any culture shock differences between here and Belgium? Not a shock because I am used to, I already spend much time in Asia, but mm. yeah, it for sure is really different. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Hi, what's your name? Spencer. Uh, where are you from, Spencer? Originally Canada, but I've been living in Australia for the past 10 years or so. Why did you move to Australia? I uh, went for uni um, and then sort of decided to stick around. And what brings you here to the Philippines? Uh, got the chance to work remotely um, okay. so came over it's close it's cheap everyone yeah. speaks English I've heard good things about it so okay. awesome. why not. how long have you been here got here March 17th okay do you plan to stay long term or just a few months or my visa expires July 15th okay. so I'll head off then I think um, maybe come back see how the next couple months go I see. Was this your first trip to the Philippines? Yeah. Okay, tell me about culture shock. Did you sense any culture shock when you came here? Culture shock? Um, not really, no. Yeah. No, it's like being to Southeast Asia before. Okay. Um, so it's pretty similar to other countries I've been to. So. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate no it. And there you have it, guys. Some people's answers about culture shock. Leave your comments down below. Let me know whose answer surprised you. 
anything you want to share, if you take time to write it, I take time to respond. Now, for me personally, I got here a few years ago, and it wasn't much of a culture shock, but something that did surprise me usually was how respectful Filipinos were towards each other, like calling each other po, kuya, salamat, ate, and all these different words. Like, you know, in Canada, we're known to be polite, but it's not really like different levels of it where you can actually address somebody with a different type of like surname, not a surname, you know, like a prefix or whatever. So that was really surprising to me that the amount of respect and even like sometimes when people see their elders or someone they respect, they sometimes put their hand to their forehead. So culturally that was very different for me. You know, Canada is multicultural, so I've seen so many different types of culture, but that was some things that were very new to me. So yeah, nothing too exciting, because if you've traveled to Southeast Asia, a lot of these countries are very similar. Or if you're actually coming from uh, like Canada, there's a lot of stuff here that's very similar, right? So they have the same things like skyrise buildings, internet, cars, just like Canada. Uh, so there isn't much of a difference in that sense. But yeah, that's my personal culture shock. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've been to the Philippines or if you haven't been, what do you think would be the biggest thing for you to adjust to or a big surprise? Anything you want to share? And oh yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. We're making our way to 100,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next one in a couple of days. Bye.